Hey guys, so you guys may know me, the Navi Professor. I've made a couple videos already trying to teach you some Navi, but um, I admit that I was going way too fast in those videos, and I've already been looking at Navi for a couple weeks, so it was ridiculously hard to understand for people who don't speak it. And um, so I've decided to remake my Navi learning videos, and this time I'm going to go a lot slower, a lot more detail so you guys can actually um, understand me a lot better and actually hopefully it'll get you guys speaking much faster. Um, so today we're going to go over the types of vowels in the language and there are seven single letter vowels, then there are diphthongs, ejectives, and double consonant vowels, all of which I'm going to get to today and explain it to you very carefully. So first the single digit vowel, single letter vowels. The first one is a, then there's like, first A, then there's A, then there's, and this is all going to be posted on the video, so th then there's E, I, I, O, and U. Again, that's A, A, E, I, I, O, U. That the A, I like to think of it as, as in the word father, father, ah, that's the normal A. Then the one with two things over it, as I was posted, um, that's that's the sound of cat, ah, that's the ah, so you say ah, that's very common in Navi. Um, e, the letter E, that's just like pronounced E, as in uh, then, so it's like an e eh, actually, it's an e, eh, e eh, in then. I, which is just, it's in as in machine, it's kind of a long e sound, machine, e. Um, I, which is with the backwards accent, as in um, thin or bit, that's the sound, i. O as in mo, just an o sound, and then the u is as in like um few you ooh dude for example um so on with the ejectives these are the x's the only x's you'll ever see in navi um they're they look scary at first and they actually discourage a lot of people from learning the language because they look hard to learn and scary but really there's nothing to it so x there's no you don't actually pronounce the X whenever you see it in the Navi language. Um, it can only follow the letters K, P, or T. So all you can have, you can only see KX, PX, or TX. KX is if you cut off all the air going up through your throat, like stop breathing for a few seconds, and then just try to say the word K, it'll come out like and after each one, there's a little pause. No matter how no matter how hard you try and get rid of it, there's always going to be a little pause there. And that's what you want in Navi. Whenever you see the X, it's kind of like a soundless pause, like cult e, which is the greeting. I mean, that's okay. <laughs> then there's tx and px, which is the same thing. You just stop breathing, say t -t -t and practice those. You can run over this video as many times as you want. That's uh, It's kind of hard. It's There's none of those in English, which is why it's sometimes confusing. Now the diphthongs. Those are combinations of two letters involving a vowel that take the place of vowels. So they, there are um, four of them. They're A-Y, E-Y, a W and E W. They're called diphthongs, uh, and they you don't sound them out. They're just they're very simple to learn. A Y is is pronounced I like the sound of the word high. Um, I it's like it's an I like if you maybe heard the term I caramba, which is like Spanish I. Um, e Y it's the sound A as in say A A. Now, um, oh yeah, A W is like in the word flaw. It's all, uh, and there's this Navi word ma way, which means calm. 
and you hear that ow like you don't really pronounce like a w you don't go ow it's like ow quick my way it's fast uh, and then e w is um you like the word few you you like it's that sort of thing it's less common than the others and um those are just diphthongs you'll see those a lot just remember don't pronounce them out like ma e it's 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 fast um next is the double consonant taking place of the vowels you can have two of these and these are kind of strange and hard to learn this is pretty advanced um they are r r and l l so the way these are pronounced is whenever you see two r's in a word sometimes it's in the place where you think the not the vowel should be and you'd be right if you thought that because it does take place with the vowel so two r's are you roll the r like rrr, 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 rrr. that's how it sounds it's like like perro in spanish perro perro um and that's they that happens a lot but not often taking place of a vowel um and then two l's um it seems like it would be sounding like l but it actually is it's a y sound like in the word tortillas which everyone knows tortillas it's a y so whenever you see that in navi it's just remember it's a y sound and it's always taking place of a vowel so again that's r and e those are just those aren't very common you won't you'll see them occasionally so that's really all the material i have to teach you today and you might have seen this in my older videos um well, i like to end every day with some navis so you can see how i speak in and just a practical application and today's sentence is hello how are you but you can't really say that in navi so it's more translates closer to um hello do you have a sense of well-being or have a sense of well-being you question mark um the sentence is kalt i ngar luftpomstrak and you you might have heard professor paul Frommer say that kalt i ngar luftpomstrak it's it will be in this video um so that's it for today and i'll try and make as many more as i can i'll try and go slow and explain everything thoroughly so thank you for watching bye